And we're playing right. Donkey Kong Country. There we go. Ugh. The setup. You kids these days with your emulators and your... Oh, man. It was a mess to try and get this whole thing <laughs> set up with the audio and the mics and all that. It, was, it seems so simple. Anyway, Donkey Kong coming at you live from 1994. Yeah, th that's what we used in 1994, what he's cranking right there. That is, that is uh, 1994 technology phonograph. It's completely accurate. We can attest. And all the boom boxes look like that. So one of the reasons we wanted to do a playthrough on this game is trying to figure out what is the plot of this game. Like, not just yeah. what do you do in this game, but what is the plot? Like, what is the point? Okay, so right here we see here's Donkey and his little sidekick Diddy, who has the last name Kong, like everyone in this game, but we don't really know if they're related, or because as you can see, he's a gorilla and he's a yeah. uh, some and kind he's of a little spider monkey or something. Yeah, supposed to be. I don't know. So I guess they're cousins. Well, let's. Maybe. You know what? I think to dissect it properly, you kind of have to go back to the beginning, where it all started. Donkey Kong the original was an arcade game, cabinet arcade cabinet game, and it was a. The setup on that one was Donkey Kong, the actual, he's, that's the name of the gorilla. Right. And he stole the princess. Right. <laughs> Mario's in it. Yeah. He's at the top of the thing throwing barrels down. Mario has a big, big old hammer, like a sledgehammer, <laughs> something like that. And he's bopping these wait, barrels so or whatever. I don't know. Is he a plumber he's jumping in that over one, stuff. or is he a carpenter? I don't know. It was kind of, I think that was his first appearance, actually. Yeah, this, uh, yeah I'm about to start, but this is the um, this is the island, the, the overview of the entire island, as you can see here. Yeah. And it is... Um, it's shaped like a like Kong's skull a little bit. I guess so it's, it's like his Kong island. Kong's skull island, basically. But between that that one game and the Super Nintendo Donkey Kong Country, there's no real. There's kind of a rift. There's no connection, because the the storyline is as simple as I just made it. Like that was it. And then you come into this, and at the beginning, as you can see, there was no story. There's no preface. There's no big intro. Like someone stole a princess or any of that stuff. So here's what we can see so far. This is Donkey Kong's house, apparently. Uh, and it's a mess. He's some kind of a uh, bachelor, I guess. He's got a poster of somebody on his wall. He's got a balloon floating overhead that looks like him and gives him extra lives when he get and collects it. Yeah. So that's one of the first things. Is one of the base mechanics oh, of this and, game. And that's going to be a recurring theme. The, the the recurring use of his name and his his specter everywhere. Just his his yeah. visage. You're going to see his face <laughs> all over the place. Not only that. As and, you're about and, to and show, here we sure. are. This is uh, underneath Kong's little underneath bungalow. His, yeah, his high-rise bungalow. Here he is. He has a huge cave. He has a cave that says Kong's banana hoard, but it's empty. So apparently that's a bad thing. There's no bananas in there, but there are bananas out here. So. Oh, and they're Nintendo bananas, so they don't rot. <laughs> so that's the other question. Are these real bananas? Or are they just fake bananas that are placed for the game? Because, they, as you said, they don't rot. Did you already make the Banana Republic joke? <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, so we have bananas that are hidden within things. We have bananas that are floating in the air. Here's a keg. I, did. I also right. wanted to say, this, this game is really awesome. As you can see, the, gra the graphics. I used to love this game when I was little. But I did look it up a little bit before this in preparation. And the reason it's so cool, it comes back to, uh, I mean, th there are a lot of games for Super Nintendo that don't look, the graphics, or so to speak, are not this good. They don't look quite this smooth, and it's just, that's not the same. Um, but the quality came with, uh, they sacrificed some other things, like they made it really simple, and then they, they put more of their, it's a certain amount of memory you get when you're making a game programming it. So they actually put, I was learning, they, they put more effort into the programming of the graphics and whatnot, making it look really cool, than they did into some other, they cut back in some other areas. I just thought that was interesting. But it's a really cool game. Like, I I remember being kind of visually stunned when it came out when I was younger, when I was real little, because it's just, it, it looks like, it looked like nothing else at the time, more or less. Yeah, it's, it's all pre-rendered, so it, it's high quality and then turned into sprites. Yeah. Whereas normally that would just be straight pixel manipulation. So it looks pretty good, for sure. And I just collected all the letters of the Kong yes. name, and now that gives me another life. So we see already there's this connection between... There's a pattern forming. Yeah, between collecting things that have Kong's name or likeness on them, and then that gives you life. And then beyond that, he seems to be... 
conservationist. He's all about wild animals and things. He's very much is he though? Because the local wildlife. They're shoved into crates and placed around the island. Well, it, you know, you get into some territory later on that's a little iffy too, though, because then it's the, I, maybe I'm thinking of the second game. I don't know. That one's also fun. We may do a separate video on that. Uh, yeah, because these are just fun games to play. By the way, happy quarantine, everybody. I meant to say. <laughs> yeah, we um, are recording this. We game hope you're all having a good day and staying indoors. More importantly, not going for walks, not doing anything <laughs> foolish. Going for walks. No. Do you want to play this? You can do this one. Sure, I can do this one. You talk for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, this. Uh, better, anyways. <laughs> this was what what really impressed me on this game. Go going back to it when we started playing it, uh, was it a week or two ago? Is the what they do with the amount of uh, Mark mentioned earlier, like limited RAM in these things, these machines. I need to should have looked up uh, some actual specs ahead of time, but it's uh, yeah, it's somewhere. But the very limited systems, but they they already have convinced you it's raining that it has turned from day to night, and they're using all the same assets, so the same sprites and all of that. But they do like uh, some kind of palette shift within the game that then just changes everything to look like it's nighttime or to look like it's daytime. It seems really simple, but and it is really simple. It's a simple effect, but then it gives you a really cool um, effect for it that, where you're not having to render completely new things every time. You're just applying a filter to them, and then they give you a different look. And uh, it's that kind of stuff that was very, very commonplace in early gaming, especially. I say early, this isn't really that early for gaming, but, yeah. uh, you know, in previous yeah. years. Whereas nowadays, when you make a game... Oh, I think there's a barrel. <laughs> <laughs> nowadays, when you make a game, you are... Um, you're working with so much RAM, and the systems today have so much processing power. Yes. Nice. And so you're not really being forced to adapt in the same ways. Uh, you're more forced to adapt on just the time management of the project and that kind of stuff and you know the budget going into it developing assets but you're not limited as much in the sense of hey we can't do that because the system won't support it now you do get into that with consoles because of their limitations but we won't go into the uh, PC versus console debate <laughs> as part of this <laughs> so now we've will lose. so we've beaten two levels do you want to talk to Cranky Oh, yeah, we may as well, because he has see, nothing of value gone. to say, but it's, you know, we need to show you that. But you could see how the levels are marked by our heads showing who beat the, who beat that level. So there's some kind of competition going on yeah. on the island between we Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong. To find Winky and Barrel Cannon King. Float. Oh, he just gives you tips, that's right. But then he whacks you on the head oh, with his cane. Oh, I didn't even think about that. He knows where stuff is, which means he's played this game and beaten it before. Yeah, that's true. You know what? This, what is the story of this island? Because there's no <laughs> preface. Suddenly there's a family of Kongs. Where did the female Kongs come from? And they never showed them before. Suddenly there's... A, well, I, I guess... Okay. So here's my... Let me not, just go not, ahead. And, not in the, the old version anyways. I mean, it, it would have been maybe in the Donkey Kong Country that we first see whatever, whatever her name is. Like Candy Kong or whatever. Yeah, she'll show up later. But, okay, Save so point. here's my theory. So that just, just from the, the limited mm -hmm. stuff that we've looked at and what we've played in this game. And of course, this is assuming that you bought this game secondhand from the pawn shop and it didn't come with a manual like all the games used to. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is my theory, is that, yeah, Kong, I missed that. Yeah. Kong is a, a bachelor who inherited this island. He's kind of like the, the Bruce Wayne of this island, right? And <laughs> this entire island is basically like a pleasure island, a... a um, with, with roller coasters and all of this kind of stuff set up just as like an amusement park built specifically for the Kongs, the Kong dynasty. Donkey Kong is just the most current uh, administrator, or, or not administrator, he's inherited, you know, the island, and so they've, you know, re relabeled everything with his face and his name on it. But see, that's why it makes sense that Cranky knows all the secrets and has been through all this before, because when it was his turn to play the island and play on the island, he had the opportunity to find all the secrets and do all that stuff back in back in the day. So that's why he knows all of that. So the island's like Jumanji or something? Like, what's going on? About, maybe not so much Jumanji as rich people spending money on stuff that doesn't make any sense. Well, and this is what the this is what the Kong brothers or whatever they're supposed to be do for fun. <laughs> that's the thing. They're not brothers unless Diddy's adopted. But there's never really. Okay. Well, let's just say for the sake of argument, he's adopted. What 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 are they doing on this island? They're just <laughs> like they set up all these courses. They run they run around to get. I'm gonna make you do the water level. Oh. Which the music here is awesome, by the way. This was really cool. Yeah, we'll have to put. I'll put. I'll find it and put it in the comments or put it in the cool. description for this. This uh, track was actually played on the radio, some places. Oh, really? Yeah, that's cool. 
That would be crazy to listen to the radio and this comes on. I was going to say, there's a guy, I need to find his uh, thing and I'll, I'll pin it on there or uh, put it in the description, but he has gone through and done by hand uh, complete remasters of these tracks by taking a synthesizer machine and running through with the original samples and everything. Basically, it, he's making, remaking the music as, as it would have been made originally <laughs> without the limitations of the Super Nintendo system. So you have limited RAM, you have limited uh, sound banks, all that kind of stuff. And what he's done is made it as if it was actually done in high def. So I'll share that. It's really cool. If you like the Donkey Kong music or the soundtrack, which is really good, uh, we'll, you'll be able to check that out. Yeah. And, uh, watch his channel. He's, I think he's gone through at least two of the games, maybe three of the games now, where he's completely redone. Oh, oh, my oh, that had to hurt. <laughs> so then, I, I guess you know some of these animals are subservient to you. That is yeah. a thing. Like the, the monkeys keep everyone in check, kind of. Apparently, I think that's the way of the, the land here. It is the way of the island. <laughs> oh, and there the I am. Island. See, okay, so this is the other question is, what kind of crazy teleportation cloning oh, yeah, that's even technology allows you to get bitten and die and then respawn inside of a barrel? My name. So yeah. they've, they've got access to some kind of crazy technology that nobody is is talking about. Not only that, like we were talking about getting these letters and everything, the level of ego on these guys, the entire <laughs> island is just like he's a big old, you know, pimp or something. He's just got everything with his name on it. True. And it's, it's all gold. gold and everything all is it, gold. Like, it's a little suspicious, you know? So as far as the different as far as the different locations and the different themes for the different levels, we're thinking that or my thinking is that these are basically theme park uh, setups where you're you're set up to go through, and you'll notice that theming all throughout in the game, where there are little um, uh, the little candy uh, booths, and there yeah, are we're gonna get to uh, here, dressing, so. like set dressing that looks like that kind of carnival feel to it. Yeah, in general, there's kind of a carnival feel. Everything's very like I don't know. They're drawing lines between apes and carnivals and all kinds of things. You want to visit? Oh, uh, we can visit Funky's okay, so Funky just to show what it is. His, whoa, dudes, my name's Funky Kong, which means apparently they have not met him before because he just introduced himself. You're right, they're introducing themselves. Anyway, he takes you to other parts of the island, but there are no other parts of the island open right now, so hiya. That's the other interesting thing, though, is that we were talking about what's the purpose between being able to go back and revisit previous parts of the island. You know what, That you, just because you had so much fun as a monkey doing this the first time? I am. Or, <laughs> well, I'm skipping mostly because I want to get to other parts of the island. Yeah. Oh, oh. Whoa! Oh, I was. Ah. I'm trying to get up there. Well, that's it. My hopes are dashed. I can't get back up there and do the rest of the secret. I now have to go. Do it like the poor people do. Do it like the poor people do. I guess you wouldn't have gotten that O, though. Oh! All right, and those and those those uh, starry barrels are the halfway point of the level. So, kids, when you're playing your game, when you can quick save every five seconds, just remember that back in the day when we played a game, you oh, had to yeah, play yeah. the whole level, or you could die and return to the center point of the level, whatever wherever they decided to put that. But that's it. Like there was no save point. There was no save state. Yeah, which things were better in those days. <laughs> It forced you to have a little bit of skill. You, there was some challenge involved. It wasn't just like, oh, you know, I can just get shot up and then yeah. hide behind this uh, barrel over here and then slowly my body heals itself from gunshot wounds. It was, no, you get bit by a piranha, you're dead. And you gotta start the whole level. Whoa! Or can you bounce back? B. Oh, or forwards, way to go. Uh, ah! Yeah! Oh, oh man. This game also is not for anybody who's pregnant or has a heart condition, <laughs> that kind of stuff. It's intense. You get really, the, you know, for, for, the, for just being a 2D side-scroller thing, it does get intense. <laughs> it really does, because you, you get into it. You, you want to actually make things work and, like, get all the bananas and do all the, find all the secrets. I love how many secret areas there are to find. There's, like, a yes. ton. That is fun. That's a very rewarding thing in this game is is when you look for secrets, you'll find them, and then you get extra cool stuff. And they're not that. DLC. I didn't have to pay for anything. <laughs> I just found true. the secrets because they built them in because programmers used to give a crap. <laughs> you know, that's crazy, that whole DLC thing, how that became a thing. Is it? 
I mean, you look at a game like this, and it's like, like you said, like if everything's here in the game. Like there are secrets in the game. There's extra stuff that you may find or you may not. But there's no DLC. There's no uh, paywall to get to that. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, if you don't... That skill. Yeah, there's got to be some skill involved, or at least some, you know, cheating. <laughs> oh, you got the Kong. Nice. Yay! You and now that I spelled my own name again, I get <laughs> more life. Okay, and so here's... Um, symbolic of something. <laughs> here's life a is candy, Kong. That's what it is, candy save point. So that's where you can save your overall progress in the game. And this is metaphorical for something, but we don't know what. <laughs> but there she's a Kong as well. Oh, yeah, she is a Kong. She's like the little sister Kong who blows kisses, I guess? I don't know. That's another confusing thing, is if they're Very all strange. related, then what are the relationships here? Oh. We'll let you... And this is the this is the weird thing about, back, well, I guess somewhat back then, but also about this game, is that because there's no story, what is my what is our motivation for all this? So far, we're just like, at, at the end of every world section, there's a big boss like this, and he's still one part of your horde. Like, as you can see, it's a, it's a beaver who for some reason had a... Sweet tooth, or I don't know. We're gonna find out though, because later on, like this is the first time we see the beavers. And you always try and make the banana fall on him. <laughs> Which is a giant Nintendo branded banana. Yeah. So it must be plastic or, or PVC or something, you know, it's it's go. not it's it's a piece of set dressing. And and back to Oh, and then it gets even more dark here. Suddenly wait a minute. <laughs> Literally. I ugh, I can't I can't go back to the map, but next time we're out on the map we gotta pause just a second to look at it. Because suddenly we're going to the mines. Yeah. Now, I've got a question. Who is developing the mines on Kong Island and why? Who is doing this? What are they why? mining for? And what are they mining for? See, that, that goes back to my theory that the Kongs there's... only care about bananas. Okay, so here's the first. Wait, wait. Th th that's the first time we saw the, the beavers in game. Oh, okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. But that goes to my theory Dude. that the reason he's so mad and stole part of your horde is because you've enslaved his people and are making them part of your games. That That's you gotta be what it is. You've enslaved... This is really a very terrible game. Like, it's the, the message gets lost because of the... Oh, oh you, you found three it. of these? You found three of these things? What?! Three ostrich eye, whatever now they are. Now you're going to some kind of plural. fever dream where you are an ostrich. Uh. Well, and you collect little gold pieces. I that am look like the you. ostrich. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, could you? An ostrich that flies, which I'm not positive that ostriches can fly. I thought this they were one. Well, he can float. He's falling with style. It's kind of <laughs> more gliding than flying. Once again, this music is just addicting. It kind of is. But see that well, this is repetitive Donkey Kong Nintendo music. They don't make music like this anymore either. It's kind of like it's been lost. But the cool thing about this is it's not like it's not like Call of Duty or something. You're not trying to get through all the levels. Like it, you re it has a lot of replay value because it's just fun to do this, to just jump and get things and be rewarded and to have the skill. <laughs> the, the skill like yeah. it makes you work for stuff, but. That's why I like it all the more in some sense of face. Yeah, see, he's happy about it too. <laughs> hey, how come you're finishing all the levels? Uh, oh, I'll switch it back. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. I yeah. just, no, I just realized that because it was like it's, I saw when it when it we were on the main this one and then screen it said that you were had like four or five levels in between and that I've only finished one. And I was like, wait a minute. I like Diddy better. Donkey Kong should be. They have slight differences in what they can do. I guess Donkey can slap the ground and Diddy can jump roll higher. and yeah, jump he higher. Does, he does uh, cartwheels. Ooh. Something like that. Well, and there are clearly marked entrances and exits for each one of these levels. See, there's caves, but they're not just caves. These have been mined down into. Mm -hmm. Like the mines of Moria. These have been mined down into. So what's the natural resource of the island? It must be gold, because there's gold everywhere. Well, and whose greed is doing this is what I'm... But once again, what I'm going... Why is industrialization coming to... <laughs> Coming to the Kongs. Is this a metaphor for okay, how... To, um, skip the end, I think? No. Is this right below the yeah. level? Ah, uh, no! Oh, you're you going to have to do the level yeah, now. You can skip the whole level. There's a you. secret. If you do that. Once again, kids, find out the secrets and you can... <laughs> Save you. Tons of, although they wouldn't be able to collect the letters of our name. But I, I think this is a metaphor for man's oppression of the environment. I, I really think that's the point of this game. <laughs> Because he's, he's... Oh, that, that was it. Um, like I said, environmentalist. Donkey Kong is... Conservationist. Is... Uh, Ooh. I hit the jump button. Come on. No, you didn't. <laughs> Obviously not. That was the fall button. Oh, see if you can skip it. I'll the, see. Um, I'll see. Donkey Kong is America. 
is, is kind of my, my oh, theory. Yeah. Because Yay! he's big, he's brutish, he's strong, but he's wearing a tie. He's British? So he's, no, he's brutish. British. So he is America in this game. He is strong, <laughs> he's powerful, he dominates everything. Oh, that's right. Yes, but this he's is kind of, theory. He's kind of dumb, and he's kind of... Uh, and you still have the little people he's stepping in on along the way, literally in the game. So we're wondering if this game was developed by Japan to mock yeah. the uh, American Imperials. This is that's right. You came up with an alternative conspiracy theory about this. <laughs> like the workers are getting underpaid, so they put subliminal messages into the game <laughs> about how stupid or silly Americans are, and they're upset because they're having to work for pennies on the dollar to get all this done and make these games for Nintendo. Mm -hmm. What's the point of that thing? I don't know. Just to reach that, I, I don't know, to reach yeah, that higher ground. It didn't ground. really help me. Ooh, there's something somewhere. I can smell it. There we go. There it is. Yeah, he also, in order to get a lot of things, he's, there's a lot of oh. destruction involved. He smashes walls right and left. I didn't oh, you didn't get your face ah. on a balloon. Once so again, yeah, who's blowing the balloons and putting them in? The, who magically put the all the floating bananas? Like, the, there's a, many questions in this game. The infrastructure of this island is insane. Like, can you it imagine really running this? It's like Jurassic Park, but for gorillas to have fun. They spared no expense, but in a very strange way. <laughs> and these tires everywhere. Is that part of the recycling program of the island? There's yeah. no vehicles. Yeah, where did all the tires come from? There's no civilization. Where did all the tires go? Are these just <gasps> shipwrecks? Could be. There was. There's also there the are theory. cruise liners and things that shipwrecked on the island, and they're just getting remnants of it. Yeah, I, I can see that. There's also the theory this is some kind of post-apocalyptic culture they live in, which can explain a lot of video games. So it's kind of a cop out, yeah, but that's, kinda, it, that's cheap. So I mean, you know, take for that which. <laughs> and here's another created animal, another subservient creature. Well, you know, this is actually more of a Christian game if you think about it, because God did tell us to have dominion over all of the animals and told Adam and blah blah. Well, this is a uh, that would be for man though. This is you're this right. Is, this is a Donkey Kong. Like this is not a man. Well, he wants to be a man. Well, there's the other thing. He, why does he wear the tie? Why does Diddy Kong wear you know, a T-shirt? Yes, you're right. His motivations are obscured, of course. He's kind of I don't know, trying for. Parts of he, he's a monkey, so he can only grasp like parts of capitalism, and that's it. <laughs> and uh, culture being being a cultured creature, culture creature, creature culture. That sounds like a band. Culture is club a is probably what I'm thinking. Culture about. creatures. That sounds like a band. Whoa, uh, uh, I was to say I don't even need that if I have the frog. Yeah, they made a few parts oddly easy, and then a few parts oddly hard. Man, can you imagine the workers who were hired to mount those? Tires everywhere on the entire island. You're right. All for these gorillas that are just going to keep come flying through at at really at random <laughs> breakneck speeds. Entrance cave. But there does seem Entrance. to be a sense of ownership of who has conquered that level. Apparently the Kong the, bird. <laughs> apparently the um, the, the crocodiles. What are they called? K rules people. The, oh, they've yeah. actually conquered this before you. Are they? Yes, they've laid everything out. They're and once again. Who are they? Why, why are these evil animals hanging out over here on this island? What's their goal? What do they want? This Ooh. level in particular requires a lot of timing. And a skill. lot of faith. <laughs> yeah, there are moments when you just basically go for it and hope that everything's gonna work. Oh, there is some of this too where you may have noticed already there's a lot of expert level design in this game. There really is. Where you're shown how a system or how a mechanism works and then in a very simple small way and then you're required to then use that in increasingly advanced ways of uh, operation. Who's down there? I don't know. I just don't want to die. Yeah, some of their game mechanics are awesome. There's some cool level design where they put things in that you, they didn't really need to, you know. Mm -hmm. But it was it's a cool way of doing a level. Like the underwater levels, the physics of it work a little bit differently. You kind of float in the water a bit. There's levels in the second one, Donkey Kong Country 2, where you actually go and uh, you ride like roller coasters and stuff. Which, like I said, I kind of want to do a recording of that too and play that one because it's fun. Yeah, if you guys want to see us uh, record that game or any other Super Nintendo games, we can uh, run the emulator and... Any kind of emulator games, really. Yeah.
If there's a request, we'll do it. Hit. I doubt it. But we'll yes, see. we'll use candy safe. Oh, we should just use the safe states. That's true. Like that's these like... modern kids. <laughs> I feel like that's actually cheating. Do, 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 do. Yeah. All right. You used to have to actually do that to save it. And there's Funky again in case we wanted to go revisit the old hits. Yeah, yeah. We're going to go to Millstone Mayhem, which is where we actually see the revolt of the um, the revolt of the gophers begins here. In this. That's right. There's all kinds of symbolism here in, the, in this one. This one gets weird because, okay, once again, who built these temples and where are we in a like jungle book kind of a scenario? That's, see, that's my question is, are these temples real? Like, was this an ancient civilization or is no. this all a facade? Is this all a set that's put together for the carnival? Well, and see, here Donkey, if, he, if Donkey represents America, who does the gopher represent? <laughs> does he represent the working man or what does he represent? Because he's, he's driving these huge wheels of industry or something. I think he's just like the making it go round and round. They're the programmers just I think being worked the, to death. The Japanese programmers of this game. For no good reason. But they're, Donkey's they're... just laughing and jumping over them. He can't kill them, but he can't do anything to them. Like he, or he can't interact with them in any way, really. Except to kill them. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of dark. That is kind of dark. And now I'm spelling out rare. What is rare? Rareware. They're the people who developed this game. Why am I spelling that as Donkey Kong? Hey, you found three of those things. Check it out. You found three. Three of those things. <laughs> Which means I get to turn into one. Yay! Oh man, this level's fun. This bonus level anyways. See, it's fun. It's just all it's all dopamine. This whole thing. This whole game is just <laughs> That's dopamine. True. That's dopamine true. hits to the brain. I, you know, you get weird. good at it, and you gotta go back to the where you started, uh, and then you go up, down, and you do the cross. In the uh, what's weird about this game is, or this level, I should say, is so oh. how far over is it? Up, up, up. Oh, there. So down. down there, isn't it? No, uh, you're not back to where you started yet. But I, I don't, no? I don't know where it's at though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, you're good. The, why is the ocean red? What is happening here? It's a red tide. I don't is know. It? I don't know. I have no idea why this ocean is red. It's very bizarre. I, feel like I missed the other secret. I got lost somewhere. Yeah. Oh. There is. There's one up, one down, and one left, and one right. The problem but is. But you have to start from the very starting point and go all the way back there every time to reorient yourself. Yeah, which means you're missing stuff along the way. It's alright. We got plenty of lives. <laughs> we have 28 lives now. Plus, we're stupendously good at this game. We have 29 lives. This may actually this end up being a game playthrough of the full <laughs> a run, a game run through. What is it called? I don't know if we should do the whole. Game. I don't know. We should. Okay. There's some uh, explosives we'll left over from the mining. We could I do guess? it in two parts. You know what? We could make this a two-part yeah, video. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. It's, oh, go! Okay. We could split it into two. Oh, see, I can't kill him. He's just driving the. He's a cog in the machinery. Yeah, talk about a symbol. He's literally part of the cog of the wheel of progress. That's in, in an antiquated. You know, Whoa. no longer relevant building yeah. like this, a temple. Like, it's, this is it's really showing, bizarre. It's showing uh, the Industrial Revolution and how it You has... know what, this is a reference to the Industrial Revolution of the 19... Well, I don't remember what that was. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, or it could just be a really weird game. Like, that's the thing, is that you never <laughs> really be know funsies. because Japan made this, Whoa. from what I understand. Was it Jap Japanese or Chinese? I don't know. Or? Rareware might not be Japanese, actually, now I'm thinking about it. Which brings up all kinds of other questions, because most of these games were Japanese. Japanese. Yeah. Who were they? Wait, did that say COVID-19 in the background? I'm joking. Ooh. There's snakes falling out of the sky. Yes, I love snakes. Hey, spelled my name again. Good job. Booyah. Oh! Oh, boy. Okay, that that does come in handy. That does come in handy. Yeah, frog. frog over here. Frogger. Whew. That's a difficult jump to make. Mm -hmm. You could do that one. Yeah. What? You didn't even get <laughs> I feel cheated. You missed the bananas. Your hitbox didn't quite oh, align with those. Bottom. Okay, see, that's the other thing that doesn't make sense it, technologically. How is the second player gliding along behind the first player, regardless of what's happening? Like, you'd be falling through the sky, you could be jumping. They're using the buddy system. But, I mean, what's he hanging on to? Like, there's nothing there. Is there some kind of a, uh, like, gravi anti-gravitational device that they have involved that they have not explained? Uh, you know, it's part of the physics of this island that just doesn't make sense, once well, again. It almost feels magnetic, you know? Oh, banana on the beak. Yeah! 
He learned his lesson. He'll never. That ostrich will never steal our bananas again. <laughs> was he an ostrich? Whatever he All is. All we saw was his neck. His oh, head. maybe he's a buzzard. Is he a buzzard? Because he makes buzzardy noises. <laughs> buzzard like. I sounds. think ostriches are good animals. That's the other thing. There are bad animals and good animals in this game, and we don't know why. There's yeah, definitely. Ugh. Like like who is? Are they just because they've been enslaved? Gah. Ooh. And why are they throwing coconuts? Or are those like owl pellets? That's a lot of owl pellets. It sure is, and it's kind of disgusting, but I mean, <laughs> I don't know why the Japanese programmers would put that in here. We keep saying Japanese. Watch, watch us find out later that this was a completely American game. <laughs> which would blow most of these theories out of the water. This is made as fan, for American fans in response to the original game. <laughs> they made up a whole fandom and a whole storyline. It's kind of like one of the offshoots of Star Wars. No, no, it's Nintendo. And Nintendo is inherently... It's inherently Japanese? It's inherently Japanese. That sounds well, yeah. racist, but I don't Miyoko Kiyasamado, whatever his name is. <laughs> oh, did you just... <laughs> no, I don't remember the guy's oh, name. Nice. There's so many of them from, like... Uh, from so that's true, games. that's the problem when you start watching anime and playing yeah. games, is, like, How the Japanese names all go together. Hayao Miyazaki is, like, the most poor, dominant, whatever one in my mind. These guys are just stuck in this little cage oh, all Oh yeah, day, this is like, totally bizarre. Away. They're in their own version of, I don't know, the Ninth Circle of Hell or something, because they're just spitting out bananas all day. That's all they have to do. Oh, that is kind of interesting, though. That means that it's they like must a have swallowed all those bananas. So they ate your bananas, and but they they're didn't just them. back up. Yeah, they're whole. They're Which spitting them up whole. lends credence to the theory that the bananas are all plastic. They're not real bananas. Well, no, it also lends credence to the possession uh, theory. Possession? That some of these animals are possessed and went bad, you know. Oh, that's why they're bad, is because evil has possessed parts of the they're island. corrupted? Is there like a one ring well, there's situation? even different colored ones in certain parts. that are the normal animals, but... Yeah. yeah, there are there are color shifts in some of them, where they, they're like different abilities and things, depending on what color, color they are. shift. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, there's oh, no secret not, oh. there. What? I feel cheated again. Are those coconuts still coming? Okay. Here we have a bee just hanging out in this habitat. Yeah, the, the ecosystem is rather bizarre of who hangs out around who. It feels artificial, so that makes me think that it is all constructed. It's all it's all set up. Yeah, like he had it made. He spent millions on this island. Hey, what? what? I have never seen that happen before. I am highly upset. Oh, that's it. I can't, that is I, cheap. Sorry, folks, we can't recommend this game anymore. <laughs> that is cheap. I definitely opened that up, and then it wasn't finished, I guess, playing that little sequence and so that it doesn't count. <laughs> But you know what? That was part of being a kid in the 90s. Sometimes you just didn't make it because the machine didn't work. Oh, I thought it was too far. You press the button and it didn't have, especially in arcades, man. Oh yeah, because then you're just dumping you, quarters. You go through the quarters and somebody before you was really upset and they're really aggressive with the machine. They came through and they hit it really hard. And <laughs> so the button doesn't work anymore. Yeah. yeah, you kids these days don't even know about nothing about that. <laughs> Arcade machines. Oh, once again, okay. Every every area of this island you could comment on and spend days. I'm sure there are books written about Donkey Kong lore. <laughs> the Donkey theory Kong of Donkey lore. Kong. Yeah. But this area of the island is just kind of a... What is it? They die. Both of you die. No. Ugh. It's a... Uh... It's like a foresty, piney area. Yeah, Whereas before we, were in, we went from the mines to the... Or the, the jungles of the, the jungle oh. to the mines to the... For, this is like, you know, this is turning more and more into Neverland from Hook, because it has all the seasons and all that. I'm trying to really keep those one out there. There we go. Uh, yeah, That's what it's reminding kind of me a, of, because um, they have snow, and then there's a dividing line, and then there's... Because there are snow levels coming up, too. Yeah. He's got everything on this island. All the climates, all the seasons. He must have spent so much money. That's true, and that's not really obvious from the island itself, the overview, when you see the entire island. Yeah. Yeah. I can't see all of that. I wonder if it's, oh. if it's VR. The island? Yeah. Oh, he's in a he's in a simulation. It's the ultimate Yeah, it's the ultimate commentary on our society right now. Once again, those crafty Japanese programmers. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay! I killed a bunch of animals. And then what what's that off in the background? There's like a or is that where we came from and that's a candy's hut oh. or something? 
No, well, I think that opens made, up in a minute. See, reference to Star Wars again. Look at those. There was like these Ewok-looking tree things, domiciles that we're in now. All right, I can't remember if this actually works or not. It does. It does. It does. It does. I always forget because you can't kill the first little guy. But yeah, we're in. I swear, this is a reference to Star Wars. This whole place looks like oh, looks like totally. Ewok country. Yeah, this whole this whole thing with the little treetop stuff. It'd be kind of cool to have a house in the trees. Yeah. It is really cool, though. Like, I actually enjoy this level a lot because this level really takes advantage of the whole barrel game mechanic. Oof. Yeah, we spent a, a long time lot. when we were playing this. That's the other thing, too, is that there aren't difficulty modes on games like this. No. It's just it's, One size fits all. Yeah. It's just you have to get skilled enough to make it happen, and that's it. Yeah, that's true. You know, there's no easy mode. There's no novice. Well, and there's like no that. skipping stuff, too. There's a lot of games now where, like, if, yeah. if you go into a part that's too hard and you die like three or more times, then the game will say, do you want to just skip this cutscene? And you can just do that. Yeah. Well, in open world, it's nice. You don't have to do that kind of stuff. You just go to various missions, and if you don't want to do that one or it's too hard, like I said, you don't do it. But this, you can't get further unless you actually invest uh, some. Yeah, miss it. Unless you actually invest some hours, you know. <laughs> actually, we've gotten pretty far. Uh, we've only been playing for like 30, 40 minutes. We've only been playing for 40 minutes? Oh man, this is better than my... I think it's been about 30 minutes, yeah. I think our childhood speedruns were not this long at all. <laughs> I, d I do, I definitely wasn't. See, that's the funny thing about this, is it forces you to think, to plan, to anticipate, to time things, to be patient. It's, it's a whole other... Level Yay! In many modern games. How good you got that? Oh, that's all I got. That's some bananas. Some bananas. Do you want these bananas? Whoa. Okay. Do gorillas eat bananas? These gorillas do. Well, you never see them eating them. That's the that's the thing. It's Not generally. They they're very they're very private about that. It's kind of <laughs> like private. Well, it's kind of like tea time for them, you know. <laughs> Okay, so here's more of that anti-grav technology. What's ah! happening with these barrels? Like, what, what is happening here? Again, who put this in place? This whole system is for the amusement of the Kongs. Oh. Okay, at That's least sad. we got the halfway barrel. Yeah, we did. Should we see? Uh, are you ready to use those save states now? <laughs> oh, yeah, we haven't been using those. Yeah. It's Shift F1, by the way, if you want to. <laughs> if you folks at home are following along. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta time it. You go. Oh, do. I know I'm gonna get it wrong. Get up. Oh. You gotta make a bunch of noises too. That was part <laughs> of that was part of the game back then. Was making noises. You your kids don't know about noises these days. Hold your yeah. tongue in the right way and stand up and sit down and move around. Actually, yeah. Let me. If I make it so far, I may have to ask you to savage state. Oh, we can do that. We, we can use the uh, novelties that we have developed. Since the day that this game actually was. <laughs> well, yes, I will use the novelties that have been developed for that matter. That next level stuff to reach the higher ground. Do you want it? Not yet. I can do a little more before I have to. <laughs> I can hold it a little longer. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> you want Alright, let's see. Shift F1. There we go. Yay! And then all you have to do is hit F1 to go back to this. Okay. You know, for the sake of the folks another at home. Another one with a good, good, good soundtrack. It's another good yeah. Soundtrack. Well, whoever did the soundtrack for this was all, uh, just, yeah. In total, it was really cool. And addicting, like Sam was saying. It's kind of a catchy oh, can number. You get it? Nice. I can. <laughs> Wait, how are you supposed to get that one? Is the frog somewhere in this level? Or do you just die in order to get it? I don't know. He's scratching his head, so he doesn't know either. <laughs> I feel like you're beating all the levels. Well, <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. But oh, that's what it was. It opened up. That was Funky Kong's place over Funky there. Funky Kong. Here. Give me a chance. Let me die in like five seconds. Yeah. Oh, this one. Uh, this one's interesting. See, okay, there's level design. You get you get exposed to that mechanic that there's a little, there's a floating thing and it floats and you can climb up and down it, okay? So here's another one. Is this the one with all the ropes too? Yes, that's what that's what I'm saying is like they introduce you to it, they give you some okay, here's yeah, a yeah, little but... slightly different scenario with the same thing. There's a longer uh, one and you can see a you bee. You have to wait. And you're like, hmm, I can see a bee in there. So. You know what? Patience, that is a big I mean you mentioned it already, but that is kind of a big thing. 
There we go. Oh, that's not a secret there. What was the point Wait, of this then? Yeah, it has to be. It has to be. It just has to be, I told you. These guys. I don't know how they have such good jumping ability. They're crocodiles. Yeah. Were they like oh. hormonally shifted somehow? Like, you know, some kind of DNA manipulation going once on? Once again, yeah, there is some weird, some stuff going on. It reminds me of the orcs in, you know, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, maybe. Because they hatch them and they do all these different things. Like, it's just meddling where they shouldn't have meddled, basically. See, these abominations, some of these things, obviously Donkey and them are still, still, still climbing around the trees, we're jumping around, Diddy, we're hanging on ropes. But why are there alligator-looking men up jumping on the ground? Oh, is this like an island of Dr. Moreau kind of situation? Yes, I think vivisection definitely took place here. That's another That's another thing that could make sense, is that this is actually an experiment that was set up. That's why all the gamification uh. of everything is that this is an experiment set up to test the levels of this hybrid man-monkey that they created and they called Donkey Kong. Perhaps a they genetic experiment called Donkey Kong? Yeah. Wait, Kong probably stands for something. Oh, yeah, we gotta figure that out. Oh, that, that actually... <laughs> oh! Uh, leave me in the lurch. Oh, I'm going to jump to him. <laughs> Why did it... It made it look uh, like... Uh. Uh, that actually... That could make sense. Because of all the reward stuff. Because that's what you do with like lab rats and stuff. Is you give them little dopamine that's hits. True. Little rewards of that you're doing what we want you to this do. This whole thing is what Donkey and Diddy are seeing. But they're in a lab somewhere right now. No. That's too cliche. That's been done in that's all the movies. Cliche. That couldn't it is a possibly game be. From the 90s, right? That couldn't possibly. Oh yeah, that's right. They hadn't done it a bunch of times in the nineties. See if I can make it this time. Well, if you can, I'm gonna shift save. Oh no, not, not time. <laughs> I was gonna say that's not a good time. To uh, uh, with the thing. I thought I, I thought he missed me last time when I was up at the top. So I don't yeah, know how he got no, me you, that time. you missed the. Oh, ooh. This guy, you were going for the, the no. glory. <laughs> no, it was beyond, wasn't it? Oh, this, oh, yeah. ah! You know, I wonder if you could get through this part by jumping off of them. No! Oh. Ah. Yes, awesome, awesome. I don't know if you could make it. You'd have to jump under him or something. Hmm. Kong strategy. Uh, hey, the where's the side. secret? Is there a secret? There's on gotta the other be. side here. It's at the very bottom. It's at the last Is it really? one. I don't really know. I'm just making stuff up as I go. Kind of like in real life. <laughs> this guy's jumped just high enough so you can... Yeah. But he doesn't move from where he is. Look, I'm looking him right in the eyes and he's like, I'm just doing this. This is my life. <laughs> oh. Oh. I knew I should have safe stated it. <laughs> You can always go back though, because Funky Kong can take us back to Funky relive Kong the glory can days. Play all this over and over and over again. Uh. There's the Tempest Temple. Temple Tempest. Tempest. Uh, once Tempest. again, another archaeologically unsound level. Ah! Okay. I can't make it. Yeah, Diddy can jump just a tad bit higher for some I reason. I think he can. It's Which one makes of his sense perks. because he's smaller and lighter. Mm. All right. Here it starts. This is this is uh, these the guys are fighting back him. now, and they're coming after you. Yeah, because they now, were just grinding your meal, and then you're... this is your everyday grind following you. <laughs> you're trying to escape. The, you're trying uh, to outrun your fate of, the, of <laughs> boredom. This huge wheel is just oppressing you in all ways, and all you can do is run, grab ropes, jump. Anything you can think of, get away. In hopes that you can escape your own escape your average everyday life. Of your average life. <laughs> See, the desperation. This is definitely in keeping with the programmer's vision. The Japanese programmers. <laughs> and here he comes after us. Uh, see, once again, here's the heart attack and how that comes hmm, in. I wonder, yeah, that down pointing arrow. Yeah, somebody also had to set that up too. So if you don't take advantage, you're kind of, they paid a guy for nothing. That would be the other thing with Cranky is maybe he constructed the island. Maybe he didn't play the island. Oh, so this is kind of like Saw, except very, very soft version of it, and he's <laughs> like making, and he's making them go through all he's these passing. things to get their bananas and whatever, and he's like, it's a test. That could be the other thing is it's a test for like him to pass on his Maybe. inheritance. Maybe that's it. Yeah, he doesn't want to pass on all his bananas to these guys. Why would you? They sit around just, 
Yeah, they, well, they, they, don't, they, don't, they don't accomplish much in a day. All they do is run around and beat up animals. And Okay, so that jump, just brought up jump. another question is the the bonus rounds. You can die in the bonus rounds, but it, you don't die in, in the regular level when that happens. Well, What's up with that? It's like a dream within a dream. You kind of don't. That's, it's just, there's so many well, questions. yeah, but that's the one you're not supposed to talk about, so. For some reason. I wish, Ooh. I wish uh, tires were that bouncy in real life. Right, ah, they didn't give me much space there. Ah. <laughs> this Climb is rough, them. this is rough. Yay! Yeah. Somehow it's right. <laughs> Yay! Another Candy Kong. What's the next level gonna look like? Oh boy. Dope. We got save states now. Yeah, but Remember yeah, we like, caved on that one. I like <laughs> I like feeling like we're playing it the old school way. Orang <laughs> Utang Gang. Orang Utang Go back, go back. Go, back. go left. Yeah. Get the steel keg barrel on this island in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, that's, uh, that has to be from another shipwreck. And it's been rearranged into, I don't know, Donkey Kong's giant escape room. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what I just did. I don't either. I picked up a barrel in midair and then died. I'll tell you, man. I was thinking I'd have to jump over that gap. All my years playing Donkey <laughs> Kong, I have never seen. You could go back and get it. That's okay. It's not worth the trouble. Oh, this guy's got the teeth on him. Yeah. That's the other thing on this game is the sound effects are so spot on. Like the, f the you can feel them. Like those little things chomping, or like even these guys jumping, or oh, yeah. whatever. I, I, I love the sounds. The sound design is, is just great in this game. Oh, now you got a created ostrich, which well, somehow didn't it's die. Kinda, it, it's kind of like that guy, or whoever, you know, Microsoft, I guess, or whoever, I don't know, who made the Oh, the there click. is an orangutan. I forgot about him. When you click the clicking sound, it's kind of like that. It's a sensory type of oh, thing. Whoa, whoa. What just happened? <laughs> I don't know, but you killed an orangutan in the process. I killed an orangutan. <laughs> Aren't they endangered? <laughs> Wait, that brings up, but they're apes too, so it, that's okay? Like, to kill them? Just any species of ape was on the table for this game, I guess, or primate. But that's the thing, they're not on your side, apparently. No, they're not. They're trying to kill you. Or or are they? Are they well, trying to trip you up for in, your test? I was going to say, in the sequels, in uh, Donkey Kong 64, there is a... a um, orangutan, isn't there? Oh. Isn't, isn't there one that's like a Kong and he's an orangutan? Uh, possibly. Actually, I haven't played much of the 64 one because I love this one so much. <laughs> or these ones so much. Like it's ex exclusive? Kind of, yeah. Honestly, it's kind of a different oh, game. SBO. I don't know. To me, it's a different game. It's not, oh yeah, it's very different. It's yeah. part of the franchise, but it's not part of the game. Like it, it's it's a different game. And at, at that point, game mechanics and things had changed so much. This is still simple. This is like a board game in a way, but ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Guys throwing those barrels or like doing a puzzle or something. You know what? He that's original Donkey Kong. Huh? It's a ape throwing barrels at you. So was that guy like? Were they the descendants of the original Donkey Kong game? Uh, Donkey Kong? Maybe. Oh, I did remember something. The, uh, see, yes, it was Japanese. They were Japanese because <laughs> I have seen the, yeah. Yeah, there is. I have seen the, um, the chick. There was some chick they modeled Donkey Kong's face after. Wait, what? Yeah. There's some Japanese chick. I've seen pictures of them modeling the thing and it's just. Donkey Kong's face is based on a woman? In this game, yeah. But it's not, spo it's not supposed to be based on a woman. It's just like they that used her lady? face to, to model after. It was some Japanese chick. Anyway, I read an article somewhere a while back and found that. Saw a picture of it I'm and stuff. I'm going to see what like, you're really? talking about because that's kind of uh, Actually, disturbing. maybe you should look that up because <laughs> if I'm saying blasphemous stuff here, I don't want, <laughs> blasphemous. I don't want Nintendo <laughs> to, to come down on me really hard and be like, what you say? Of oh, and here's Cranky again. Yeah, I'm Cranky like, doesn't seem to serve... A dude any purpose in the game other, than, does telling not, you other stuff. than to tell you off and tell you other stuff you don't really really need to know but i mean oh, like this the is stuff, the harder underwater level <laughs> i mean the stuff he tells you it's like you're normally going to discover on your own if you're persistent to just find secrets in the levels it's Actually, not yeah if you just if you're just nosy in every level you'll eventually find like, yeah just like stuff. penetration testing the walls and you know that kind yeah. of stuff yeah oh i'm so stupid i just realized pen testing is short for penetration testing 
<laughs> That's why I said it that way instead of saying pen testing, because I didn't know if people would know what that meant. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I just know because I was fascinated with that idea for a long time of like if like being like as a job trying to break into places. That just sounds like the most hilarious job to me. Uh -huh. Maybe not, I guess. Well, and there's also the thing where the animals in this game feel controlled. Like they have little loops that they go in, or this they don't go outside of certain boundaries, which would lend credence to the thought that they're they've got some kind of either biohacking going on or. Uh, maybe some kind of frequency generation that they've done to either make them angry or, you know, stimulate them in some way to keep them in certain states or certain places. Because yeah. it's either that or they're animatronic. And if they're animatronic, then that would explain a little more of the whole thing. Oh. But... They've mixed in quite a few things. Wow. Yeah, I was expecting that to end like two or three sharks ago. <laughs> wow, that was pro right there, man. Congratulations. <laughs> Well, because if this is all underwater, how is he holding his breath this long? That's another good question. He's spitting out bubbles this whole time. He holds his breath indefinitely. You can see the surface of the water in the background somehow, but in the sand somehow. and all that. Yeah, but somehow he can breathe under the water and... Ooh. Oh, I did not know this. Oh, but his weakness is octopus, as I was about to say. <laughs> I was about to say. Slap him upside the head. Or squid or whatever those are. <laughs> Pretty sure those are octopi. Acti octopi. Uh, there's not a barrel down there? Oh, there's one up there. Yeah. Usually there's a barrel near the save barrel. You know what? Usually there is, but not today, sir. Oh, there it is. You can hear him. I'm just going to go up the side. Make this really yeah, easy. that's probably a little easier. Doi. There's time left. You're jumping through hoops. Doi. I think I just swam past that guy. I don't think he goes to the edge. Okay, now these, these are tricky. These, uh... Well, let's see. Once again, if you have patience, they're not that tricky, <laughs> Sam. Well, I didn't know there was more than one. I totally—I haven't played this in years. Yeah, I always mix that stuff. Up. Oh, this is the rough one for me, but I got it. Because because I'm 33 it. now. <laughs> okay, I'm not think... 16 anymore, or whatever it was. Um... <laughs> you have years of experience. Bumblebee years. rumble. Here, so I'll now... let you. I'll let you rumble. Oh, okay. Now because you um... can do this one a little easier than I can. And now you're beating up on wildlife again. Oh, it doesn't count if he's red. Yeah, yeah. About that. You gotta wait till he's yellow again. Yeah, you gotta wait till he, you know, cools down a little, and then you beat him and up. Some then more. you can beat him. Yeah. There For is taking a, your bananas. Yeah, there is a pretty strong theme of just violence as the solution to some kind of eco terrorism going on. Well, I don't know. But there's got to be someone controlling these things because if you, I mean, once again, it comes back to the point of the these bosses. What would they want with your bananas, any of them? Well, maybe it is more like a Jurassic Park situation, where this was an amusement park, everything was going hunky-dory, and then the animals started going berserk and stealing the bananas because... Life found a way? Yeah. No, no, I missed him. I'm a failure. <laughs> I don't know, he looks pretty happy throwing his cap in there. <laughs> oh, man. Well, you're climbing to the top of the mountain. And then I think you actually, at the end, you go out to the ship out there in the bay, which, okay... <laughs> That's a whole nother one. Why in the world is there a ship out there with K rule, some weird fat walking lab experiment gone wrong <laughs> of an alligator or whatever he is, and he's out there on the ship and he's the final boss for just no random reason. So apparently he influenced all the bad stuff that happened on the island. Yeah, maybe he's like the Dennis Nedry of this situation, where like he uh, messed you're everything have to up. Tell people who that is. Jurassic he's the fat guy in Jurassic Park. Yeah. The, the guy in Jurassic Park who uh, who's trying to steal the dinosaur eggs and then yeah, yeah. like ruins the entire island and everybody, everybody dies because he shuts down. Dotson, system. we've got Dotson here. <laughs> yeah, uh, Newman. Yeah, that's that's him. But I'm wondering if that's kind of K Rule's oh. uh, K Rule's role in this entire situation. <laughs> Say that five times fast. <laughs> K Rule's K -Rule's role. Rolls Royce. You know, I wouldn't you know, think safe state would be good right about now. <laughs> Do you want to? Yeah. Oh, I don't want to keep doing this forever. Remember when we got stuck on this the other time? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I was oh. just thinking that gaming is just so different. Like, it's, just, it's all these it little really things we've is. been talking about. It adds up. Like, how well, when playing a game was just so much different back in the day. And by comparison, we played stuff growing up. Like, we've played the lower res stuff, too. I remember when Nintendo came out, I was so excited 
not because it had come out, but like it, it came out in I forget the eighties. Oh, song. it what? didn't roll back up. That's cheap. See, safe state. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Man, man, man. Cheat our way to winning. <laughs> but Nintendo kind of didn't have these graphics at all. It didn't have, you know, Mario was fun. It was a lot of fun, but it's it's because it was different from other stuff. We played like Prince of Persia on the computer oh, before. Yeah. That was fun. The but original. That was kind of, that's kind of the pinnacle of some of the low res graphic stuff from before. Ooh. I mean, unless you really really like the uh, text based RPG stuff. Or a Mad Dog Williams? Anybody? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anybody who's... Oh, oh, no, no, no. A save state. <laughs> you can't just but keep save dying state. just because no, of I that. wish life had save states. <laughs> well, we are working on that. But, um... Really. Mad Dog... <laughs> Mad Dog Williams. If anyone's played that game, shout out in the comments. Mad Dog Williams. And Hashtag he... Mad Dog Williams. <laughs> 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 well, you know, those games were so fun. Mad Dog Williams, um... Uh, what was the other one? King's Quest. Yes. Those games were so much fun because they've Commander always Keen. felt like there was a lot happening. It wasn't like this where what? it feels kind of arcadey, you know, it's just kind of side scrolling and all that, but you felt like there was a larger world and there was a lot going on and it was very developed. Another cool thing about this area. Can you save it again? <laughs> Another cool thing about this area is that it. Uh, of the map, I mean it's snow and everything, but they they took advantage of the slipperiness, of course. Yeah. And they also upped the ante on a few parts where they just made it like here. You can see it just got really, really heavy blizzard heat. And you now have to like look through that as you're going and jumping and not falling. Yeah, don't slam Bada directly boom. into a giant bee. Don't oh, you're not, you're not gonna bees. go for the uh, the rhino. No, I don't care about the rhinos. Only frogs and dolphins interest <laughs> me. Uh, there's no good time to go on that one. Oh, that wasn't save, a good time. Stay, oh, <laughs> uh, let's say this is we need to save back, a little though. farther yeah. ahead this time. <laughs> you know, if we're misusing save states, maybe it's time we uh, call it a rest for this uh, for this session. You want to? Yeah, because we've already been going for like close to an hour, I think. We can come back to it. Wait, actually, yeah. go ahead and save it. We could do a part two. Yeah, safe yeah. state. We can save state here. We're halfway through the <laughs> snowy mountains of whatever what this is. What is this? <laughs> the Appalachians. <laughs> whatever this is. You know, the top of Kong's head on the island somehow. All right, yeah, so. Uh, down there. Huh? Well, you could have. All right, so we're going to come back next time then to the caves here. We'll Snow be back barrel next blasts. Time. And uh, if you want to see more of this, subscribe, like the video. We appreciate all you guys watching. And uh, absolutely, stay uh, co Corona safe or whatever you need Wash to do. Wash your hands. Wash your hands and all that good stuff. All right, till next time.